and welcome to PNN. I'm Martin Verbinski. Our top story tonight, a mysterious videotape that purportedly causes your death exactly one week after viewing it. Arrant nonsense, of course, but as news journalists, we felt compelled to see this tape for ourselves so we could give an informed and balanced report. Let's go now to senior correspondent Jane Frost to get her thoughts on this murderous tape. Jane. Good evening, Martin. Hi, Jane. You know, for someone who watched a video that causes you to die a horrific death, you seem pretty alive and well. Yes, I watched it more than a week ago and I'm still here, alive and breathing. So what are your thoughts on the video itself? Um, honestly, it felt like I was watching an art house film. Lots of grainy black and white shots of weird random places and things. Quick jerky cuts. It's a minute and a half of my life I'd like to have back. Understandable. And you feel fine? No supernatural symptoms or occurrences? Nope. Well... Yes? Well, when I finished the tape, I got a phone call and a voice said seven days. But I assumed that was just Brian messing with me. Hey, that wasn't me. Although that is really funny. I wish I had done that. Senior correspondent Brian Cox, you watched the video as well. I certainly did. And? I'm going to have to go ahead and give it two thumbs down. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I really wanted to love it, but since it was nothing but, well, nothing, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it a hard pass and just pray that no one makes a sequel. And no odd effects after watching it for you either? I did have a nosebleed. Does that count? That might have just been my brain trying to escape from the video. We'll chalk that up to brain escape then. And senior correspondent Rachel Watts. Present. What did you think of the video? Yawn. The whole time I was watching it, I was thinking of all the TikTok videos I was missing. I hate when things make me miss TikTok videos. So, not a fan either. Nope, sorry. The fly effect was cool, though. The fly effect? Yeah, do you remember seeing a house fly on the video? Oh, yeah, I do. Well, I thought it was an actual house fly on the screen, and when I went to grab it, I sort of pulled it through the screen and off the video into the real world, so that was impressive. Huh. Well, with technology the way it is these days, I guess nothing surprises me. But you suffered no ill effects from watching it? Nope. Well, I spent a few days obsessively drawing some of the scenes from it, but I think that was just my form of therapy. I think we all need some therapy after watching it, frankly. Hey, Martin? Senior correspondent Shannon Chase, you were the first of us to watch the video. Feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But I've been doing a little research online about the video. All right. It turns out that the only way to avoid death after watching it is to make a copy and give it to someone else to watch. What? That's what all the sources say. Okay, well, you watched it first. What did you do with it? I made a copy and gave it to Rachel. Rachel, what did you do with it? I, I made a copy and gave it to Brian. Brian? I made a copy and gave it to Jane. And Jane? Well, I made a copy and gave it to you. Martin, what did you do with it? Nothing. I just watched it. How long ago? A week. Is there something behind me? Hey. Jesus Christ, Lenore! What the hell are you doing? Just wanted you to know I found this in your dressing room. I made a copy and watched it. Excellent film. You watched it? Yeah. And you enjoyed it? Yeah. Lenore, 
If you don't make a copy for someone else to watch, you're going to die horribly in a week's time. Do I look worried? <sighs> well, folks, it would seem that all of us here at PNN narrowly avoided a gruesome fate. And now that gruesome fate has to deal with Lenore. My money's on Lenore. Stay tuned, everyone. We'll be right back. You've been watching PNN, the Parody News Network. Uh -huh.